Hello, my name is Robert Pound and I am a product technologist from Quest. This video is a follow-on to the basic formatting video done previously for Toad for SQL Server. In the previous video we saw how easily code could be formatted with the click of a button, but if your organization has specific coding standards that are not in the tool currently, not to worry, we can affect these through the options. So in options, I can choose editor and then formatter. And we can see the list of all the current formats in the tool. And as I navigate through them, we can see the code in the preview window updating to give you a sense of what each one of these uh, styles mean. So to create a new style, we first click the advanced button. Then we select the style that is closest to the format we're interested in, um, and then choose Save As. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new style, and we'll give it a demo rep clear. Uh, and go ahead and click Save, and click OK. So now we are going to have a new style in the drop-down list. And not much has changed because we need to, at this point, go to the custom tab. So now that we've created a custom formatting style, we can come in and affect the changes, uh, whether it's spacing, uh, new line characters, you can add headings, anything and everything that you can think of as far as uh, alignment and once you've made changes you can go ahead and click apply and then click OK and now in the code itself when you want to select your new format style you can select it and it, there you go it'll affect uh, whatever's in the editor and finally, I want to talk about uh, location just briefly. So one thing that I didn't go into was when we go to the advanced button, uh, at the bottom there is a location for the folder. So if this is something that you want to share amongst teams, you can uh, save uh, all these different formats in a network drive, for instance. As you can see, this is uh, defaulted to my previous trial. Uh, instead of the current one. And if we look at the folder itself, uh, we can see it's just XML files for the for the uh, for the formats. So you can copy these into a network drive if you've already created several formats that you want to save. So you have many options when it comes to formatting your code in Toad for SQL Server. Hopefully this video helped you understand how you can use these features to get the most out of the tool. To get more information on this or other topics, you can check out the Toad help file. It has a wide range of information and tutorials to help get you started. You can also check out the community-driven innovation going on at www.toadworld.com. I highly encourage you to log into the tool so you can get content specific to Toad for SQL Server. For more information on this product, visit www.quest.com forward slash products forward slash Toad for SQL Server. Thank you and have a great day.